A hey, good evening from the foyer of Geyer Springs First Baptist Church. Uh, it's Wednesday evening, and usually these halls are filled with people, with kids, different activities, different events that take place in our church building. Tonight it's kind of empty and quiet, which is a little bit weird, uh, to be honest. Usually one of those things that takes place is our choir meets, uh, and it's rehearsal time that involves worship, it involves singing and practicing songs that we'll sing on Sunday, and it also involves a time of prayer. Uh, within that rehearsal, many people often tell me, hey, this is the highlight of my week. It's hump day, but it's the day that gets me through uh, the rest of the week from work, whatever is going on with them. And so without being able to meet for the last couple weeks, just the idea came about to have a, a Wednesday choir time is what I'm calling it. So I have invited a few of my choir friends uh, here tonight and the one and only Pam Wessel on keyboard just to have some time together to worship together. So I pray that this will encourage you to join with us, worship with us, uh, and sing along to our Heavenly Father as we gather together. Maybe not all together, but together in spirit tonight. Let me read some scripture before I get started. And I lost my place here, so give me just a second. It's Hebrews 10. Verses 19 through 22, it says, And so, dear brothers and sisters, we can boldly enter heaven's most holy place because of the blood of Jesus. By his death, Jesus opened a new and life-giving way through the curtain into the most holy place. And since we have a great high priest who rules over God's house, let us go right into the presence of God with sincere hearts, fully trusting in him. Would you pray with me? Father, our heart's desire, even now, is to draw close to you. Father, for all that you have done for us through your son, Jesus Christ, we come in a small, simple way that doesn't seem like much. But we come to give back to you with our voices, with our song, with the heart of worship that desires to please you. Father, we give these next few moments to you. God, I pray that you're glorified and honored as we worship together. In Christ's name I pray. Thank you. 
Good evening. So happy that uh, John and the team invited me, gave me the pleasure of joining you. I've been sitting uh, off set here just enjoying the worship. I know you've been enjoying the worship. Hopefully you've been singing along as well. But I want to take just a minute and, and think about God's uh, faithfulness. You know, I bet for the last several minutes as we've been involved in worship and focusing on the Lord, few of us thought about uh, COVID-19, few of us thought about health issues or financial issues. Why? Because our focus is on the Lord. We were caught up in him. You know, we think about God's faithfulness. I would define it as knowing that God will do what he said and fulfill what he promised. Now, God didn't promise us that we would not have difficulty in this life. In fact, why would we need God if we had no difficulty? If everything always went well and if we had everything under control and had it figured out, we'd have no need for God, no need for faith, no need for trust. But we can know that in spite of what we're walking through, God will do what he said, be faithful to what he promised. What did he promise? He promised he'd be with us. He promised he would always provide a way. He promised that he would be our shelter, that we'd be under his wing. We don't face any of the things we face today alone if we know the Lord and walk with him. I was trying to think of a scripture and, and I was drawn to the Psalms. And I'll just tell you, if you haven't spent time in the Psalms, especially in the 90s, um, you need to do that during this time. Uh, just reading through the first few verses of 91 and 2 and 3 and on through all the 90s and other places in Psalms as well, but the 90s specifically speak a lot, not only to the faithfulness of God, but to reminding us of how great our God is. 
Uh, there is nothing that is beyond him, nothing that he can't handle, nothing that he can't conquer, nothing that he doesn't have the wisdom for. And so I want to just share a few verses with you from the 95th Psalm, just because it's my favorite in thinking about how great our God is. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. And that's what we've been doing the last several minutes. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. Listen, verse 3. For the Lord is the great God, the King of all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Just stop and think on that for a few minutes. The mountain peaks are his, his sea form the dry land. In his hand are the depths of the earth. He's got everything in control. He's made everything and he's complete control of everything. And then you're probably familiar with verses 6 and 7. Come let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. We need to remember that we're the flock under his care. Whatever we walk through, it may be difficulty, it may be great challenge but whatever we walk through he cares and he's going to be faithful to us thank you for being a part of this time and i just want to challenge you especially as people who lead in worship to continually be in worship as you worship the lord as you focus on the goodness of the lord you lose sight of all the other things that this world is throwing at us right now so thanks for letting us join you tonight and uh, as we wrap up as the team leads us to wrap up let's focus on the goodness of God and hang on to that.
Father, you're worthy of our praise. Thank you for the chance to gather tonight, to lift you up, to worship you, to exalt you above all other things. For we love you and we praise you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thankful for this team. Thank you for joining with us. We hope to see you again sometime soon. Good night. Tommy got his way in. What do you say? I should have done that. Thank you, Dave.